Hi, I'm Chris with NVIDIA, and I'm gonna walk you through the installation of Jetpack 2.3 for Jetson today, and we'll talk about some of the features, advantages, and benefits along the way. Jetpack is software for the NVIDIA Jetson Embedded Developer System. It includes a powerful suite of tools and libraries to help you quickly develop deep learning-enabled software for embedded autonomous systems. Let's take a look. Here's the hardware setup we're going to use. Over on the left-hand side, we've got a host PC set up with Ubuntu 14.04. It's connected to the monitor and keyboard and mouse here. And then in the middle, we've got the Jetson TX1 developer kit, and it's connected to the monitor, keyboard, and mouse on the right-hand side. To get the Jetpack software, we're going to go to developer.nvidia.com slash embedded slash Jetpack. We'll select Download Jetpack. And then on the next screen, we'll come over to the Ubuntu 64-bit version and save that to file. Okay, now we can take a look in Downloads. And we should see the file. There it is. We can right-click to copy that. And we'll move it into the Jetson directory. Now we can open a terminal. And we'll go to the Jetson directory. There it is. And we'll chmod it to make it executable. Okay, we click Next to continue. It says the components will be installed. And we're using a Jetson TX1 development kit, so I'll select that. And there's an authentication needed. Type the password. And now we're installing. So we have the option to uh, do a standard installation, a full installation, or custom installation. We're going to do a full installation today. And we also have a box down here that says automatically resolve dependency conflicts. Normally, if you're doing a partial installation, this will uh, automatically install components that may be missing if you uh, didn't select them and they're needed. We'll select it even though we're doing a full install because it won't hurt anything. Now we have to accept the terms and conditions of the license agreements. And the last thing we get here is a notification saying, depending on the component selection, you may get some messages in the terminal window. So watch your terminal window as it installs. And if it stops and asks a question, you can, you can answer and continue. And now the installation begins, and you can follow the progress in the window. It looks like the host PC software installation is complete, so we'll click Next to proceed. And now we select the correct network layout configuration for how the TX1 and the host PC are connected. The top one is correct, so we'll click Next. Network interface selection, also correct. So when we click Next, it'll tell us to uh, set up the TX1 in forced recovery mode. To put the TX1 in forced recovery mode, first of all, we power down. Then we remove the power cable, connect the programming cable that came with the developer kit, reconnect the power, power up, and then we press and hold the recovery button while we press the reset button, and then continue to hold the recovery button, and then release. So we can verify that we've got the dev kit in force recovery mode by launching a new terminal and typing lsusb. And there it is. Uh, it says NVIDIA Corp. So we know that it's in the right mode. Now we can come back to the uh, installation window, click in there, and hit return. And it will continue with the installation. The flashing is complete, and the developer kit restarted itself. Let's change the screen lock settings, though. It defaults to five minutes, but I prefer a longer time. Turn off lock, turn off password. Now we can go back to the host PC and continue the installation. So we'll click in the post installation window, and we'll click Enter. While this is happening, let me tell you about some of the improvements in Jetpack 2.3. First, there's TensorRT, previously called GIE. It's a powerful tool for optimizing deep learning inference for production deployment. Second is QDNN 5.1, which accelerates all major deep learning frameworks by shifting convolutions, activation functions, and tensor transformations to the GPU. 
Third, there's a new camera API for more flexible app development. It includes per-frame control over camera parameters and EGL stream outputs for efficient operation with GStreamer and V4L2 pipelines. And finally, the new V4L2 API enables enhanced video decode, encode, format conversion, and scaling control. This includes bitrate, quality presets, low latency encode, temporal trade-off, motion vector maps, and more. That's it. The Jetson TX1 software has been updated. To show the benefits of the end-to-end -end multimedia APIs and deep learning capabilities, we've included a demo. And to access that demo, we're going to go to a README file. It's in the Tegra Multimedia API directory. So we'll go there and look for the README file. This file includes a lot of information. So I'll page down to get to the backend demo information, which is what we want. And there's a command here to show how to launch it. So we're going to copy that command and put it into a new terminal window. And uh, the directory we're looking for here is the samples directory under Tegra Multimedia API. And the demo we want to run is backend. So now we can paste that command and hit enter. It takes uh, several seconds to launch this because the software is optimizing the CAFE model and uh, translating it into TensorRT to speed up performance. As soon as it's done, we'll see the video come up with the object detection and the frames around the cars that are being detected. So there you have it, a quick and easy way for upgrading your Linux workstation in Jetson TX1 with advanced multimedia capabilities and accelerated deep learning for developing intelligent machines. Make sure you go to NVIDIA Embedded Developer Zone to purchase your Jetson Developer Kit or download the Jetpack 2.3 installer. Thanks for watching.